Hello friends, today our discussion is on design hour and design hourly volume for a highway. The general unit of measuring traffic on a highway is annual average daily traffic AADT and this is the total number of vehicles moving on a road in a year divided by the number of days in a year. That is called AADT. But this AADT is of very little importance when it comes to design of highways, particularly geometry design of highways. Because this figure AADT does not represent the variations in the traffic flow on the road. It does not show, it does not indicate the daily variation in the traffic or monthly variation in the traffic or even hourly variation of the day. Therefore, we need an interval of time which is shorter than a day to more appropriately reflect the prevailing operating condition on the road. Design hour is an hour with a traffic volume that represents a location specific peak hour for designing the geometric elements of a facility. For urban highway, this time period is generally one hour and the peak hour volume is generally accepted criterion for use in geometry design. For rural highways, the 30th highest hourly volume of the year is generally taken as the design hourly volume. It is the total volume on the road that is exceeded by 29 hourly volumes in a year. So, if you consider how traffic volume will change on a road in a year, then this variation is like this. Now, on the x-axis is the number of hours in one year with hourly volume. more than the volume shown here, more than the volume shown here and this is the hourly volume, hourly traffic volume as percentage of AADT. So, let us say this is 20, this is 30, this is 40, 60, 80, 100 and so on, 120, 140, 160, 180 hours in a year. Now, this is the average condition on a traffic, on a highway, average traffic conditions. You take any highway, this variation will be like this. So, corresponding to 30 hours, this value is here, let us say 15 percent. That means 30th volume, 30th hourly volume on the road is 15 percent of AADT. And what you see here, in majority of the cases, this variation is very steep on the left side of this 30th hourly volume and then it becomes very flat on this side. So, if you consider say 100th hourly volume, this value will be around let us say 8 percent. That means there will be 99 hours in a year where traffic volume will be more than 8 percent of AADT. 30th hourly volume indicates that there will be 29 hours in a year randomly distributed over the year. When the actual traffic on the road will be more than 15 percent of AADT. Now, you can see here that if you move on the left side of this curve from 30th, let us say here 25, you can increase the number of hours of congestion on the road. Now, if this is 25th hourly volume, that means there will be 24 hours in a year when traffic volume on the road will be more than this value, which may be around 18 percent of the AADT. But 
the cost of construction will be very high in this case because you have to provide more number of lanes because this part is very steep so you are reducing the congestion at the cost of construction but this part of the curve is very flat and therefore there is no point in going to the side and that is why this 30th hourly volume is considered as the design volume for most of the rural highways now design hourly volume dhv is taken as the percentage of aadt and that is called the k factor it is k percent of aadt 30th hourly volume what is the percentage of say here 30th hourly volume is around 15% of aadt so k is 15% According to ASTO, this K factor or the percentage of AADT which is considered to be the design, design hourly volume is around 8 to 12 percent for urban area and 12 to 18 percent for rural highways. But IRC 64 suggests a value of 8 to 10 percent for rural highways. And peak hour flow is taken as the design hourly volume for urban streets or urban highways. Take one example. And example is like this that the highway in a rural setting. highway in a rural setting has the following volume data. First hourly volume is 4389 vehicles, 30th hourly volume is 3782, 50th hourly volume is 3591 and let us say 100th hourly volume is 3234. What should be the design hourly volume for this highway? That is the question. Now again if you look at this graph here, this curve here, I told you that this is the 30th hourly volume. And this is what you call the K factor, percentage of AADT. Now here, first hourly volume, if you see the difference between the first hourly volume and 30th hourly volume, the variation is around 14%. This variation will be around 14%. Between 30th and 50th, this variation is around 5%. And between 30th and 100th hourly volume, this variation is 15%. And between 50th and 100th, this is 10%. Now, what do you basically get out of these data? When you this is the let us say first hourly volume. So there is a suddenly drop of 14 percent when it comes to 30th hourly volume. But when you move from 30th to 50th, it is only 5 percent. So you get only 5 percent reduction in the volume. But this is now 50th. And similarly, you have a 100th year here. Now the slope is becoming very gentle. See the slope here, the 14 percent divided by 30 that will be around 0.47 and similarly 5 percent divided by 20 because now you have a difference of 20 years 0.25 and when you say from 50th to 100th it will be again 0 0.20. So slope is changing very gently but the, there will be steep slope between G, between first and 30th. So 30th hourly volume should be the design hourly volume for this highway.
that is the concept another concept related to this is directional design hourly volume and this directional design hourly volume is the proportion of aadt in the peak hour that is your design hour in the predominant direction of traffic flow so this ddhv ddhv is aadt multiplied by k factor multiplied by d factor now this is the proportion of aadt during design hour I told you and this is the directional traffic directional factor that is in the direction of predominant traffic. So if the traffic is not divided 50-50% in two directions let us say 60-40 then this D becomes 0.6. 60% of the traffic will be moving in one direction. So you should design the facility for the peak traffic and K. K is I told you it is 12 to 16 percent as per ASTO, 8 to 10 percent as per IRC. So, let me just take another example that the projected AADT on a facility is 33,000 vehicles per day and the proportion of AADT in the design Power is 16 percent that is k k is 16 percent and the peak hour directional distribution is 65 35 so d factor is now 0.65 so design hourly volume will be 33000 multiplied by 0 0.16 multiplied by 0 0.65 we should take the higher value here not the lower value and that gives you a value of 3430 vehicles per hour. It is hourly now because 16% of AADT will be occurring during design hour. Now, this is the design hourly volume, directional design hourly volume. If you know at what level of service you want to design the road. Let us say you want to design the road for level of service at C. What is the maximum service flow rate at this level of service? If it is a multi-layer highway, level of service C will have a let us say a flow rate of 1500, 1500 vehicles per hour, per lane, okay, per lane. If this is in vehicles per hour, so it's a basically mixed traffic. If you know proportion of trucks, proportion of two wheelers, you can convert this into PCUs. And one thing more you need that what is the peak hour factor? So, number of lanes which will be required for this DDHV will be your peak hour factor multiplied by MSF that is maximum service flow rate maximum service flow rate into correction factor for heavy vehicles that is your PCU factor. So if you want to keep it one convert that into PCU per hour first and this will give you the number of lanes required. So let us say this is now 3430, peak hour factor is 0.9 and level of service flow rate is 1500, FHV you can take let us say 0.9 again. So this is 2.82 that means you need 3 lanes. Three lanes to accommodate this traffic at LOSC. This is a design service volume. That is how this DDHV or DHV can be used to determine the number of lanes on the road. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any question, please do write.